hello everyone and welcome to today's class and today is very interesting class where i am not going to give you any assignment but today's class is a conceptual class and you have to understand the difference between abstract class and interface so i have already created an interface named as my interface and i have already created an abstract class name as my abstract class okay so let me double click here and let me set all these class in this way because we are trying to make the difference or try to identify the difference between an interface and abstract class so my left side you can see my interface this is basically an interface and this side it's a abstract class okay so first thing when you try to create any interface the keyword you have to use is interface but when you try to create any abstract class so you have to use the keyword that is basically abstract and class okay so first one is interface second one is class and main difference is that we have to use these two type of keywords okay now second in interface when you try to create any variable let's say integer a10 that will be a final variable okay so here you can see i have created this final variable but if you are not using this final keyword so this variable automatically treat as final because this variable i have created under interface okay so while creating any variable under interface that will be defaulted as final but in abstract class or normal class you can create normal variable or you can create a final variable but you have to define in such a way like this one i have created a final variable where country is equal to india and here i use this keyword final so it will treat as a final variable but this is a normal variable but when you try to create that one in under any interface that will automatically or by default set as a final variable now point number three so here you can see i have created a method here under this interface and this is basically a abstract method so if i use a keyword like abstract then that is also okay and if you don't use this abstract keyword by default this method will be treated as an abstract okay but in your abstract class definitely at least one method you should be written as an abstract method and you can create another type of normal method which is not basically abstract but if you create at least one method as abstract then your class need to be defined as abstract okay so you can see here in interface whatever the method i declare here basically that will be treated as an abstract but in abstract class i have to create at least one abstract method but other than that i can also create a method which is basically a normal method and that is not abstract so abstracts mean we already know this is normal a template here i am not able to create any method body but in normal class i can create the method body so you can see in my you know my normal method here i have already written something right so that's mean i mean to say that for any interface if you try to create any method that will be treated automatically as an abstract but in abstract class at least one of your method should be abstract and other method you can create as a normal based on your needs now the last point is that as it's a interface so definitely you can create multiple interface and you can overcome the multiple inheritance problem in java what i mean to say from a subclass you can implement multiple interface but this class as it's a class it's maybe a abstract or it's maybe a normal class but ultimately it's a class so that's mean from a child level you can only extend one parent class you cannot extend multiple parent class because java does not support multiple inheritance so keep in mind this four point and if you can explain in this way left side let's say interface and right side let's say abstract class and you can give a point wise let's say final variable then abstract method and then extending or implementations and finally the keyword interface and the abstract class so this is the simple thing if you understand this one then anytime you can you know crack this type of interview questions i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching please do subscribe click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel